partners. So it's a pleasure to have you with us at Golf Business. Thank you, Garrett. Pleasure. My pleasure is mine, actually. Very happy to have you in one of our best stores. And can you tell me about the history of Grandiose, how it starts, uh, where it is now? So the history of Grandiose is about uh, seven years. The story starts with our chairman. And it's, it's literally his passion, his concepts, which is what you see come alive today. And uh, seven years hence, we are now a fairly large chain with about 43 stores. We are present in Dubai, of course, Abu Dhabi, Sharjah, and very shortly we'll be opening up in Alain as well. And can you tell me about the expansion plans that Grandios has? You mentioned that you've got 43 stores. That's a lot. Thank you. So where are you looking to expand? And next we are that's... willing to kind of look at new geographies. So we are looking, as I said, at Alain. We would also look at uh, outskirts of uh, the Emirates, which is Russell Khaimah, etc. But more importantly, we want to densify within our catchments also. There are certain communities which are very, very keen to have us. For example, within uh, Dubai, you could take JLT. JLT has so many clusters. We have only one store in JLT. But very shortly, we are going to have almost six to seven stores. So our strategies expand geographically and also densify within certain clusters. Uh, more than that, we would also be looking at increasing our online presence. We have a lot of brands uh, and I'll show you some of the brands as we walk through. But uh, we would also expand our online presence as well as our offline presence. And yeah, let's, let's go through some of the brands that you've got. A lot of these are grandiose brands, right? Like, so for example, here is grandiose coffee and grandiose roastery coffee. That's right. So unlike many other players, uh, we believe in doing what we can do or rather insourcing rather than outsourcing. And this is one great example. Uh, we roast our own coffee beans and in some of our stores, we actually have a mini roastery which customers can actually see for themselves. The aroma will hit them and then that gives them a lot of confidence that they are buying beans from somebody who knows their stuff. And this is just one example. Uh, we have, by the way, as you can see, we import it from a lot of countries. You can see from Salvador, yes. you'll see from Colombia. You can see this from Ethiopia, for example. So many, many countries which are known for their coffee. This is where we source our best coffee beans from. So somebody who's a connoisseur with coffee would really, really appreciate the grandiose brand in Roastery. But let me take you to our, some of our other stuff, which is our fruit and vegetable section. Yes, because it's not just coffee from all over the world that you've got. You've got fruits and veg from all corners of, of the planet, right? Absolutely. For example, you look at uh, this mango section. If you really see, you feel as if you're in a tropical garden with the tree around and a very delectable range of fruit and veg. Now you can see uh, the avocados are from Kenya. The mangoes, these are from Indonesia. The mango palmer is from Brazil. You have another avocado from Mexico, which are very, very famous. And uh, the range is pretty amazing. You have green apples from Italy. You have mandarins from Australia. And this is just a few. If I walk you around, you will find a lot of countries being mentioned. We are also now strengthening the Indian range. For example, I could probably take you on the other side where you have a lot of Indian vegetables. 27% uh, of the population of Mui is Indians and uh, people who are quality conscious, people who are who want the best, this is something that we curate for them and lay it out. And fruit and veg, the section as you come in, is one of those leading indicators of that. And what I'm also struck by is just the layout of your store. I mean, this is a beautiful store that you've got here. Thank you. It, it really is aesthetically pleasing the moment that, that you walk in. It just makes you feel happy the moment that you step in there. Is that something that, that you strive for in terms of trying to achieve that look and feel for the, the consumer? Yes, you're right. Actually, unlike a supermarket where when you go in, you just see shelves around and they're imposing shelves with just products which are packed. Here, we'd like to lead in with fresh. And if you see that there is a certain uh, layout which we have in mind, you come in through fresh, it leads you to stuff which you can eat for example our bakery is this side our butchery is that side and we'll walk we'll walk back towards a bakery 
and then you go around there is a sushi bar there is a food avenue then there is fmcg and then we finally end up with uh, our flower section so let me take you to the bakery section right and can you tell me what uh, you know how it works in terms of the of the staff that that you have here as well you mentioned that you've got your own chefs i imagine you'd have your own bakers so it's a it's a real all-in-one concept isn't it that's right so uh firstly you know what powers these stores is we have our own bakery and we have our own catering and these are standalone units so 100 percent of what we serve to our customers here is actually either baked in the bakery or it is finished over here pizzas for example we get the dough from our uh, bakery but they all finish in these special ovens uh, we have a set of chefs a battery of chefs back in our bakery and catering and of course you can see these uh, the smiling guy who's smiling with customers so they are well trained to make for example the pizza is from south italy puglia so not only is it not really commercial it is really really artisanal and that's what consumers really appreciate i could take you to the bakery section and uh, we could repeat the same over there yeah but uh, and, uh, <coughs> there is something which we also do every month for example there's a whole set of new products so we bake cakes for example uh, we also have birthday cakes so you can order either a cake for your birthday or whether there's a celebration in the office you can order cakes and you can order flowers together so it becomes a nice combination which is not normally seen in a supermarket you would actually trust a specialty cake shop a specialty florist shop to do that for us for the customer but we can do that for the customers and that's something which not too many people know and i would really encourage people to try these perfectly fresh cakes and fantastic flowers coming to these bakeries so you have a mix of we have a mix of customers they are europeans they are arab expats they are asian so take these products for example this is a turkish milk cake so something which not only the arab expats will like but the other nationalities will also try to sample and taste and if they like it they will pick it up and there are many many new products which have come up now eclairs for example we also do a lot of sampling so that customers can really taste new things new stuff so always there's a reason to come into grandios to come in to taste new things to try out new things and expand the palate and uh, we're really really happy that our bakery kind of rivals any specialist bakery anywhere in the uae so Manish, it's all about the ready-made foods in many respects. Are you finding that there's enough market demand here for that? Yes, uh, if you really see any other uh, place, it's a standalone place. So either go to a bakery or you go to a florist or you go to a pizza store. Here it's more like everything for the full family. So when a whole family walks in, the lady of the house can actually get her nails manicured in the nail bar. Please. Thank you. And do the shopping. The husband can actually treat himself to a burger or a pizza. And there is a big kids play area over there. We'll go there over there shortly. And the kids can play in a very safe environment in it. So it is really everything under one roof. And there is a big market for this. I think it's a story which I think we have to keep mentioning that to more and more customers for them to really understand that yes grandiose is, is an experience and it's not just a supermarket it's what we'd like to believe is the best supermarket in the world and you know touching on that point of being the best in the world how do you benchmark yourself against what exists out there already because a market like the uae is already known for pushing the limits of and sure, and, and reaching those levels of excellence. Sure, what benchmarks do you have for that? So, if you look at, uh, we would like to benchmark ourselves not just with supermarkets, but with also the food and beverage brands. Because as you see, we have a lot of food and beverage, and we also have FMCG. When it comes to FMCG, there are brands which are sitting at the top of the heap, which do not operate on price. And then there are brands which operate completely on just price and nothing else. What we believe is we are a fantastic combination of a lot of great experience which you can see around here. And uh, what I would uh, say is fair price. So we are not playing on price, we are playing on experience. We believe that we curate 
the material for the customers so that they can be assured that when they walk into a grandiose everything ranging from let's say our dried fruits or let's say ranging to our honey section is absolutely artisanal it's absolutely top of the world and there's a lot of information on each so customers know what they're shopping plus i think our people are trained to be really knowledgeable our people are also trained to be friendly our checkouts are not very crowded so overall the experience of shopping at grandiose is much better than going to a value retailer just picking up your groceries and rushing back home so there are nobody hassles you nobody hustles you you get to shop in a nice ambience you get to eat good stuff your children get to play in a safe environment uh, you can see the kids zone up there yes and that's something which as a sum total is a it's quite a unique combination absolutely and and you've mentioned the points about fair pricing so that very much indicates that you're targeting more the mid mark or mid mid tier market if i could call it that well we would say it's mid to high that's what we would call uh, our segment it's mid to high and i think the market is pretty big for example here you just take this for example uh, or maybe we could go into another shelf so we would put our some of our best curated products on this for example there is something in this dry fruits range uh, we would bring some good stuff but we would give some price also which is selected item which we would call as pick of the week but overall i think our, all our prices are actually fair value we keep benchmarking our prices by the way there is a, there is a scanning wide scanning of prices which happens so we make sure that our customers feel very happy that they get a great experience and then they get fair prices that i think is our responsibility and we keep doing that day in and day out so manish you were mentioning about how you sort of keep prices in check that must be quite a challenge with us having come out of covid and the supply chain constraints and and food inflation having been particularly high how do you as gradius manage that so uh, we have different other entities so we do a buying combined between grandius supermarkets we also have a small uh, b2b business and we have a buying arm called olive country so we have a lot of uh, connects around the world and we make sure that we get very good pricing secondly we also make sure that we are keeping our ear to the ground as far as any issues related to supply chain disruptions on the input side are concerned of course on the fmcg side we try to absorb some pressure from the pricing front try to not pass on everything back to the customer because it's our responsibility to keep prices in check on our own uh, catering business and our bakery business uh, since we have our own suppliers we manufacture our own bakery and catering we're able to source very well and keep prices in check so overall our customers are pretty happy and uh, price is not really a concern uh, that we have heard our customers talk about i think what they're expecting uh, us to do is bring in more and more variety from around the world something new something different which they don't see at other supermarkets but that actually i'd like to take you through to our food area yes. uh, because that's something which i really like to talk about so as you can see this is a very very wide variety of products yes and there are a lot of proteins over there you can see that there are these lots of you know baked products as well there's a lot of food to eat and we keep on making the menu new so that when the customers come every 3 months this whole menu kind of keeps changing and it's completely there up there on the screens as well like any other restaurant and you can sit down and eat your food uh, so it's a very very nice environment if you come here on a sunday yeah this place is completely even now today on a weekday afternoon as you can see it's completely packed yes but it's even more so on a saturday or a sunday uh there is also rotisserie chicken we grill our own chicken we have a fairly large assortment i would really i'm quite proud of our fishery section if you can see a lot of variety right from shrimps from india there is sea bream there is hamur and there's all kinds of fish kingfish etc so and then coming on to our uh, pack fish 
We also have a very unique feature which I don't think is there in most supermarkets. You can buy your meats from here and you can actually grill them there. You can see the grill, the skewers. We do our own marinades here. So not only do you buy your fish or your meat, but you can also grill. So you can grill it from having as Absolutely, right? absolutely. You can either consume it here or you can have it grilled and take it home. Ah, that's incredible. So there's a okay. lot of stuff which is uh, really, you know, unique about our supermarket. And uh, when we talk about uh, bakery, uh, we talk about a lot of delectable pizzas. So we have pizzas from Italy, Puglia. We also have a lot of unique items which are not normally seen in a supermarket. It's a pleasure to have Masab Abrit. Thank you. Best. He is the co-CEO of Gradius. Masab, thank you very much. So we've just done a walkthrough with Manish, but I know that uh, the sweet section and the cheese section are among your favorites. Exactly. So can you tell us a little bit more about what's going on here? All right. So today at the Grandius, we offer like uh, different types of Arabic sweets. We all make them by ourselves, by our expert team. We offer baklava, we offer the dry ones with dates and nuts inside. We call them mamul. Uh, we offer the fresh kinafa also for our customers. So this whole uh, product is made in our bakery uh, by our team. We do over, uh, offer all uh, different range of Arabic sweets and uh, different range of um, wow with dry and onion. So this is part of our signature also, as you can see, we, we also call it signature sweets because oh. it's signature for the Middle East, actually. Yes. Okay. Jumping next, we also offer the cheese. Yes. Uh, our cheese comes from different parts of the world. Uh, we source from different uh, countries like French, Swiss, Italian. So you can see a sample of our cheese here. So this is very suitable for a night with the friends where you get your cheese platter and Absolutely. enjoy with the friends while you are talking and, uh, and having a very nice evening. Thank you. So this has to be one of the biggest cheese selections in a retail environment. So yeah, you really can say so, yes. Uh, if you want to have a look inside, uh, so it's, it's uh, temperature control. We have all the tools to do the cuts, to prepare whatever you want. We can build your own platter if you want, not only like buying a ready platter. So this all stuff that you can order and we can, we can manage everything for you. So they can actually cut it for you. Yes. Get it down to the sizes that you want. 100%. Specific specification. The size you want of the type that you want. And all you go. Yes. That's amazing. Thank you. They say need to try this fast. With that, thank you. So the food avenue, yes, uh, it's also our signature. We offer do too many different cuisines and too many different type of meals. From of course the fresh barbecue, look, you choose your own selection of meat that you want to have. Then uh, we will grill it for you, and then you enjoy it with with your family, by yourself, with friends. It's up to you. Uh, I mean, grinning it is quite amazing. It brings a whole new meaning to parsley. Exactly. So you see it on the exactly. The so we go and you get it cooked right there. Hundred percent. That's it. We have also the shower lights on the other side. We will uh, go to it. Uh, we offer very nice meat and chicken shower man. It's also like a Middle Eastern signature, especially for the Levant countries. Yes. Uh, we offer also the our made food in our catering. We have a catering that shows uh all different types of meals that we have at the grandios oh, thank you. of course we have our coffee okay. uh, we source our coffee uh from outside of uae and all the coffee that we have regardless of the origin it's always single origin so we don't mix different origins together we always stick with one origin to give the the, the ultimate taste of our sausage here also we have our sushi uh, our sushi corner is uh, it's famous also in Grandios, where we prepare our sushi uh, from the materials in our soil itself. So we grab the fresh herbs and the fresh uh, vegetables and fruits from the fruit and vegetable corner. And of course, we grab the, the seafood from uh, our, our fishery corner to prepare the best uh, like sushi that you can almost buy in the town. Okay, that makes sense. 
And lastly, is uh, our so that's exactly new the section. Yeah, actually, we have the uh, open buffet. So every day we have different meals because sometimes customers they get bored from uh, from the uh, the fast food and the ready food so we prepare for them different meals uh, different cuisines mainly it's uh, intercontinental so people will try uh, like uh, international uh, food uh, and actually our customers they like it it's, wow. uh, like, it's very nice it's made like with with a with very expert hands lastly we have our zero bar we serve uh, Mojitos, cocktails, mocktails, uh, yeah. even wow. drinks with zero alcohol, like virgin drinks. So we have, for example, the martini here, because it's alcohol free, 0.0. So we do also serve different fresh juice and uh, some something like to refresh the customer during the visit. And can you tell me about the broader group? that Grandia is part of because there's there's a lot of history there, right? Yes, actually, uh, Grandia is part of Gasana Buddha Group. Uh, Gasana Buddha Group is here for almost more than 30 years before I even got one. Uh, we have actually multiple businesses which were supporting Grandia's in a very big way. So for Grandia's to be part of such uh, an amazing group, it helps a lot. Uh, it helps a lot in the, in, in in a lot of aspects from like sourcing the product, from cleaning the product, uh, from logistics, because we have a logistic company called Dalega. So they support us a lot with, when it comes to clearing the products that we import from outside and we transport them to our uh, stores. Uh, we have also like uh, one of our biggest businesses actually is, uh, is the cars, which is the automotive. Uh, we bring our vehicles uh, from our automotive company, they support us with everything, with the maintenance, with the services, with the the cars, of course, to give us like the best quality of cars, with the best service that we can get. Uh, our whole fleet is based on our uh, sister company, which is Gasana Boot Cars. Of course, we have also our uh, our pharmacy, our hospital is called Gailan Hospital. Part of it is the pharmacy. We will see the pharmacy later on during our tour. So we collaborate with our pharmacies and we open the pharmacies with our stores. Mm -hmm. So we get actually a lot of benefits from uh, from the group because it's all like you know uh, a united uh, you know a united in group where we benefit uh, each other each other always. Well, I think it certainly helps you with scaling out. Doesn't it? Exactly. Yeah, it helps us with in, in really too many aspects. There are a lot of stuff that even if I want to mention, it will take me until the end of the day. So talking about scale, one of the the key trends facing the retail space right now is this growth in e-commerce. Yes. We see it in a city like Dubai where you've got delivery bikes everywhere. Yes, as well. How, how does Gradios or how is Gradios adapting to that fast changing trend? So right, uh, actually it's growing a lot the e-commerce these days. So Gradios uh, found a way to enter this market by building our own uh, team, uh, by building the best uh, environment for our stuff to, to go faster and deliver the products faster. Our application is uh, so far with all the comments that we get from the customer, it's amazing experience. Uh, they ordered if there is something wrong, they receive a call from our team to make sure that uh, the customer is updated with their order. Always our orders don't cost like one hour delivery. Uh, depends on, of course, the location and how far is it from uh, from the store. Uh, so we entered the market and we uh, we actually uh, doing very well. Uh, our team is very expert in delivering the products, uh, in picking the product. So we don't receive any complaints so far from the customers that re they receive like bad product or damaged product. We we'll always take care of that. The customers today, they love the experience of e-commerce with the Grandios. And of course, uh, we work with aggregators like uh, Caraba, Deliveroo, Nesta Shop, and all of these companies. So we work with them to make sure that the customer, uh, to make sure that the Grandios is available for customers on different platforms. And what is the future for, for Grandios going forward? What is, what is the big plan at play? 
So now our focus is mainly on the UAE market. Uh, recently, we entered Sharjah city. Uh, we have now two stores in Sharjah. Uh, at, as of now, we have 44 stores. 42 stores are like proper supermarkets, regardless of the size. Two of them are Prime, uh, Grandis Prime, which is like a concept that we built. Uh, it's mainly like food experience uh, and some cross merchandising products. So our aim is to open 10 stores every year and hopefully in the future we'll be outside of UAE. Any ideas on we outside of the UAE? Uh, not as of now actually, but <clears throat> there must be like plans for that. I'll keep it as a secret. So what's also interesting about your group is that you've got other subsidiaries that are involved and other partners and a pharmacy as well. So right. can you tell us about that? So the pharmacy actually is part of our hospital. We have a hospital in Sharjah called Kailan also, and we have a fitness gym in uh, Jumeirah. It's called uh, Kailan Fitness. So uh, today, as part of our our like business in Grandis, we take like big areas or like big spaces where we can divide these spaces into too many different concepts. So not only to benefit the Grandis as a supermarket itself, but also is to to benefit the uh, the, the the sister companies that we have. So today we have three pharmacies. One of them is uh, located in our hospital and the other two are located with our stores. One here in El Barsha and the other one in uh, Sport City. So yeah, it's, uh, it's very nice to have like a sister company that supports us and we support them in a way to both benefit from, uh, from the space that we can take. So we, wherever we go, we always stick under one umbrella somehow. And keeping to that theme of sticking under one umbrella, what does the future hold for Grandiosa over the next five to 10 years? What are your key goals and key so, things that, that you're looking to achieve? So there are always like uh, changes with the Grandiosa. Grandiosa started in 2017, but now it's growing. Uh, we started with two or three stores. Now we have 44 stores. So there might be a lot of coming ideas. Uh, our team doesn't start uh, with one idea or two. We always come up with new ideas. So all this Grave Cave, the Pizza, Grandiosa, Grand Rosier, all these are recent ideas that we added to Grandios. So we are always planning to go to different, uh, to different and the new areas uh, with our concept because we can see even people who visited the Grandios from out of UAE, they like the concept and they want to actually like have the same concept in their countries. So the future is hiding a lot of bright stuff. Uh, and uh, of course, the grandest will be part of it with all the concepts that we have. Well, thank you so much for, for chatting with us. Thank you.